When a new year comes around, we're all about resolutions, all about new goals, and it gives us such a good feeling. And then January, February comes around and we do not follow through and it gives us a bad feeling. And then March, April comes around and we forget just all about it. So I thought let's turn things around and set a new goal now. Butterflies, welcome back for a new A Layer A Day Challenge, week 18 for May 4th. And I have to ask, have you been journaling each and every day? You haven't? That's okay, because this week's challenge was made just for you. Five minutes a day to put down one layer, and at the end of the week you have your full spread. And not only that, but it goes further than this. It takes 21 days to implement a new habit, according to specialists. Now, if we do the A Layer A Day Challenge for one week, we've done it seven days in a row. For seven days in a row, we've implemented that one new little step of our life, which is five minutes of self-care of our channeling on a daily basis. Seven out of 21 is already one third of the road. So how cool is that? If you have implemented the A Layer A Day Challenge and you're already on a roll and doing this like it's a no-brainer, how easy was it to implement that in your life? Small steps. That is what we're going for, for this goal for this week. We want to implement that one new little thing in our life, that one thing that you've always wanted to do, break it down into something small that you could achieve on a daily basis. Now I hear you, why on earth should we be journaling about that? Well, I have two reasons for that. First of all, it will give us an emotional connection with that goal because thinking about it each and every day for seven days in a row will have an impact on us. It will connect it with our brain, it will connect it with our feelings and well, connection means everything in this, right? The second reason is accountability. You will have a track of it. You will have something to look at every time you come back to your journal. It will remind you, remember that one thing that you promised yourself that you would do and that you're still not doing? Good reminder, right? My goal for this week will be to start my day with reading. I love to read, but I often do it in the evening before I go to sleep. So it's something that helps me sleep. I want to do active reading in the morning, 15 minutes each and every morning. So that will be the thing that I will be journaling about this week. And now you are my accountability partners. <laughs> So in a nutshell, set yourself one small little goal, one thing that you will be thinking about the whole week because you will be journaling about it. Remember that you will already have the seven days build up, the seven days compound effect of it. If you would like more inspiration, join the closed Facebook group. I am amazed of all the mutual support that is going on in the closed Facebook group. You butterflies are one amazing community to be part of. Thank you. If you would like an extra notch in your accountability, you can formulate your goal in the comments to this video and then you will have the entire butterfly communities as accountability partners, just like I did in this video. I will see you back here next Monday for a new Journal Monday to boost your mojo even further, next Thursday for a new Papillon's Flutterings. Meanwhile, don't forget to put down a layer a day. Butterfly kisses.